Hi guys. Uh, we are doing a meal prep today and we thought that we would give you guys some tips on portion control and meal prep for weight loss. So meal prep is really important when you're trying to lose weight or even build muscle. Um, but the most important thing is portion control. And that's how we started. Yes. Simple portion control. We tried all the fad diets. Um, we tried everything. And portion control, back to basics, is what worked. It saved our life. Yep. Portion control saved our life. To see real results, portion control is the best way to go. And some people portion control through if it fits your macros, we, however, like to portion control through um, a food scale and measuring our food in other ways. So And judging how our bodies react to it. Exactly. And then we adjust accordingly. So for portion control, the best thing to use um, is a scale. This one is called Perfect Portions Food Scale. And the good thing about this one is it's digital and also... It gives you the nutrition facts of certain foods. So there's a whole booklet in here um, that you can punch in a code and it will tell you all of the macros and nutrition facts of that food when you weigh it. So you know exactly how much you're getting. And that's perfect if you're just starting out and you're not changing much except your portion control. That would be perfect. But if you don't want to invest like for an expensive fancy one like that, Get anything that will measure your food. Yes. Any food um, scale. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them, if you're in the States, probably Target, um, those kinds of places. We got ours at Bed Bath & Beyond. Ours was $50, but you can get a scale for $20. So um, that that's one of the things that we use to measure. We also, and these are very worn because these are five years old. <laughs> Um, since we these we've had these since we started our journey measuring cups that we measure everything everything we eat except on cheat day um, we have tons of measuring spoons and because we measure everything we have doubles and triples of all the spoons so that we can both use them and we have enough to measure everything out and so yeah go to the dollar store get yourself measuring cups spoons You'll yeah, need those. and those are perfect. And the other thing that you'll need for proportion control is containers. Um, small ones for small things like your snacks, like nuts and um, crackers, cheese, that kind of thing. Big ones for your main meals. And this one is Kyle's. He uses red lids so we can tell his protein from mine. So in here we have jasmine rice, mixed veggies, and chicken and for one of my meals i found what works best for me is a half a cup of rice a cup of veggies and four ounces of meat and mine is very similar except i have three ounces instead of four ounces of meat um, and again these are dollar stores and get yourself different colors if you're if you're prepping for different people or if you have different days like you could carb cycle and do your low carb one color and your regular days another color yeah and the other thing that we do is on a low carb day we will just stick a piece of paper that we've taped on that says low carb so that we know when we're pulling them out which ones are for which days also, Ziploc bags, if you don't want to wash containers or anything like that, these are perfect for portion control. The one thing that we did in the beginning, and we still do it, but we don't eat these kinds of snacks anymore, but um, I portion out all of my oatmeal for the week, and it's you know it fits perfectly in one of these, and then I just dump it in a bowl and mix water in it. Um, to make it that way I have a perfectly portioned breakfast or snack and I just pull it out and add water um, for example if you snack often and you're trying to cut down on that go to the store get a really you know if you like crackers and cheese for a snack get a box of crackers that have good macros and then come home look at the serving size on the box and put 
a serving size of crackers in each container for a whole week. Or you could do a, a Ziploc bag and get cheese strings, which are already po perfectly portioned cheese snacks, stick that with crackers in a bag, throw them in the fridge, and then you just pull them out as you need them, and you've got your snack right there in the bag already made. Uh, another thing that we do is we cut and wash all our fruit and veggies and put them in containers, all the fresh stuff. And then we just take our measuring cups and scoop out what we need each day. Yep, so. and um, the portion can control combined with dealing with our emotional eating is what finally worked for us. Yes, but if you're going to, to start losing weight and you want just one thing to do, make one change, portion all of your food. Even if you continue eating what you're eating, we were eating pizza and, and sandwiches and um, you know, all kinds of stuff that we don't eat now on a regular basis, but we portioned it all out. Chips, um, whatever. And it, I, even, I can't even, remember even what if you eat. don't know the amounts, because we always get asked how much. It doesn't yeah. matter. We had to figure it out trial and error style. So if you have no clue, you're just starting out, you have no idea about nutrition or portion sizes, start with a reasonable amount and go from there. Weigh yourself once a week or look in the mirror and see your results. Or you'll feel it in your clothes. You'll feel it. And if, you, mm -hmm. if you're starving and you've lost too much weight too fast, add more carbs, add a little more protein. And if it's yep. not going down as much, have a little less the next week portioned off. Add a little more healthy fats yeah. too um, to keep you full longer. And yes, so for example, if you typically eat cereal in the morning, even if it's like Lucky Charms or whatever, but you normally pour yourself a huge bowl, look at the serving size. Most of them are two thirds to a full cup for a serving size. Measure out your cereal in containers or baggies for the week in one cup portions. Then take your measuring cup and measure out your serving of milk when you're ready and put it all in a bowl. You're done. You've portion controlled your breakfast um, or your snack or whatever and you're already one step towards getting results. And do that for every meal. So if you eat pizza for lunch normally, then instead of eating six pieces or a whole pizza or whatever, you can make your own with little mini English muffins or you can just cut down to two slices instead. Um, so that instead of changing everything and making dramatic, drastic changes that um, will be way too fast, too much too soon, I should say, one, just portion control. And still eat the same things. Like when we first started, we didn't want to take away pizza. We just had it on a whole wheat English muffin or a tortilla, you know? Yeah, or a, a pita. And yeah. we made we made it ourselves. And um, I remember we were eating, yeah, like mini pizzas that we like homemade. And we would get fries, but we would get the low fat. I believe the States has fat free fries that yeah. are frozen. And then we would just take and a serving. And we would just fries. take a serving. And yes, we counted those fries out. I remember it was like 15 fries, I think. And we counted out 15 for each of us, put them on the tray, and that was it. There was nothing left. We each got our 15 and that was all. And, it, and that'll be good, a great start. Um, because already, if you're not used to portioning your food, um, it, it will take some time. So don't beat yourself up or get upset if you can't portion control it that much right away, it will take time. But if you do it, guaranteed you will see results. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. Don't do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, we will. If you don't, you're gonna get the scale of doom. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye guys.